Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we are once again playing uh, Gary Grisby's War in the Pacific Admiral's Edition, as we continue with the Rising Sun. So, uh, a few things to be sorted in this session. Uh, namely, that of a small, but rather critical economic crisis, which is one that um, I hadn't noticed and has crept up on us. Uh, well, not really crept up, it's been very much evident, and I should have stopped it. Uh, but we can quite easily fix it. It's a very fixable situation, so that's pretty good. Okay, but first of all, we will assign orders to Kiributai and make them ready for war. Now, we did hit the airfield at Singapore very, very hard last turn. She's not really going to be in the greatest condition, but I very much cannot wait until we actually have Singapore's airfield. Uh, the level 9 airfield as well as the level 9 port is going to be fantastic. I'll be able to do a lot of uh, plane, well, squadron upgrades over that way very, very quickly. And it's going to be great. It's going to be very, very good. But, first of all, we need to clear the seas around Singapore. Make them ready uh, for the Imperial Japanese Army to sweep in, as well as the Navy. So what we will do then is we will have our VALs, uh, our dive bombers here set to naval attack. And there we go. Now let's take a look at the actual plane themselves. Well, the aircraft data. Hello there, SCT. How are you doing, my friend? Right, they don't have maneuver band, which is fine. So we'll keep them at the 13,000 feet. Okay, set all dive bombers to attack. Hello there, Bill. How are you doing, my friend? Now, the torpedo bombers. Of course, they will be using their torpedoes. Uh, I believe we do have a great store of torpedoes ready and able. So, yep, they're set to maximum range. The zeros need to be set to use in drop tanks. They actually do have the capability to cover all of the um, attacks. So there we go. Fantastic. Uh, what I will do as well is actually drop the number of uh, zeros on carrier, well, on combat air patrol. We're still using 20% of every squadron, so that is still a uh, good number of aircraft ready to go. So that's fine. But what I want to do here is I want to make sure our flights are accompanied by fighters at all costs. Okay, uh, this one is still not able to move, but uh, it's not fine, don't get me wrong. There's not much I can particularly do about it. Uh, due to the level of the airfield here. So we'll make do. Now what we will, however, follow up with is we do have uh, level bombers over here at, uh, what is this? Kotoburu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer them. Well, in fairness, I could have them... Um, hmm. We'll have them run ground attack at Singapore, perhaps. Then again, there's a lot of um, AA there, potentially. <laughs> this time I'm about to go to bed, not waking up early. Damn, grabbed. It's about one o'clock here, so it must be fairly late for you, my dude. Or fairly... yeah, I, I guess so. Okay, um, hmm. airfield damage. I do have the capability to bomb the airfield over here, which is uh, where the Allies seem to be flying their planes from, so I think... No, actually, you know what, we're gonna go with the ground attack. I need to see what their... Uh, results would be. I want to see how effective that actually is. The reconnaissance is going to be focused on Singapore. Uh, we will obviously change the um, altitude. That's rather ridiculously high. Mm. Actually, we'll try about 10,000. Mm, about 6,000 feet. I don't know what sort of um, level I should have them at. But we'll see. Tojo. Okay, the reconnaissance is ready. Right. They're doing well. This one's just uh, undergoing some repairs. Uh, but what I will do is I will actually move up the squadron to Johovaru so that they're actually close by. Ah, 10 pm. I imagine you got like work or something. Did it take all the Tojos? I really do hope I haven't lost a Tojo. Seems I may have. Hmm. That's, uh, disappointing. I was hoping that he would have left the other one over there. But that's fine, eventually we'll have them in mass numbers. Uh, actually, let's quickly just take a look at his aircraft. Well, maneuverability. Um, we'll have them down to 15,000 feet. 
I mean, they're already set to 16, so we'll knock that down to 15, and they'll have significantly better. Right. What we'll do is we'll put them on zero here, and we'll have the entire squadron ready to go. Wait a minute. Did I give orders to the tow drones? No, I didn't. Okay. I gave orders to the wrong aircraft. Yes, uh, they're nowhere near as maneuverable. That's fine. We'll set them to 15,000 feet then, too. Right, that'll do for now. I'll transfer you to Johoburu. Johoburu. Now let's look at the actual capacity of the airfield. Uh, yeah, we've got plenty of room here. Right, they're using drop tanks. Which actually does give them some respectable range of about eight, um, eight hexes, which is actually... It's not terrible, it's actually pretty decent. I mean, well, I mean, there's lots of planes out there, but at least using the drop tanks, they do have that reach, which is quite nice. Makes a difference, really. Right, supply transport. I don't know how effective that could be. Uh, we might lose them, but we'll see how it goes. Hello there, Sam. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, I will need to move these construction. So they can be sent to Johor Bahru, so then we could send them immediately to Singapore once she does inevitably fall. It's definitely going to be necessary. Right, we have captured Mersing, so that's good. Okay, so we're still trying to uh, keep things ready here, but yeah. It's not a great situation. Seems we've been overwhelmed by the amount of Mitchells and also the poor airfield here. Now then. So I'm going to talk about the dire economic situation that I mentioned earlier. So, the dire situation here is that we're in the negative regarding heavy industrial points. Uh, the reason for that is a boo-boo I have made. Now, if I go to this turn only, so there, Baden. Right. Uh, major. Yeah. Um, Tokyo, yeah. So, the issue is I've not set Tokyo to be a resource uh, storage center. So you can see here their resources aren't adequate, so we need to change that. Uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take a look over here. So, heavy industry, light industry. We'll sort by the amount. Strange. I suppose it might be tied in together. Okay. It should fix itself in the next turn, obviously, once we get resources being sent in there. That's fine. It's not fine, obviously. It's not a great situation, but we'll make do. Okay. So, start to load these resources that are, of course, direly needed. I mean, I might even send a convoy there just to get a large amount in. Okay. Who's a mine layer? I would like them. I need these elsewhere. So what we'll do then is we'll have them sent to Hong Kong. Actually, no. If we disband it, we'll disband it for the time being. We'll have to look at that uh, later on, really. Right. Loading resources. I didn't want them to run out of fuel. And I didn't want to have to spend too much time uh, having to nurse make them.
Okay. So we've loaded up with the 33rd Division over here, which is fantastic. Uh, so they're going to be moved out. Now, it is going to be a dangerous gauntlet that they're running here. And it's going to be one that's ultimately worthwhile. We're going to be sending them to aid at Singapore. Now, the thing is over here at Singapore is, of course, uh, make sure everybody's in this combat. Well, yeah. Operation Mode 2. Um, everybody is starting to regain their strength over here. It's not a huge amount. I have 580 votes. It's nothing to laugh at. It's just I need to get more uh, men in here. Thing is, I do have extra forces over here. It's shown by the Imperial Guard Division. Uh, eventually, they will recuperate. So, it might be a case that we send a division, but we'll see what we can do. We might be able to weaken the enemy with bombardment. And then potentially send mine clearing craft to actually attempt to uh, uh, engage with Singapore. But, um, airstrike should be enough. I mean, we'll clear the waters around Singapore and then we'll launch just unending series of, uh, n well, naval strikes or ground strikes against Singapore. Right. You're heading out to uh, Midway, which is fine. At least I assume you're heading to Midway. Yes, you are. Uh, Midway has no fuel at the moment, so we do need to get fuel via ASAP. Okay, I do have the oiler over here. And you are carrying fuel, so I need you to unload that fuel. Right, unload. Unload in here too. Right. I'm going to cancel that. You're going to be sent to Midway. We need to get a good amount of fuel there. Let's see. Over here, uh, we have some fuel, but little in the way of supplies. Supplies are being sent on their way, though. And in fairness, what I'll do is, in fact, Let's see. Plenty of patrol craft here. Right, I'm going to look for cargo. You're going to hand over here uh, and pick up some supplies. Okay, we'll send two destroyers with you. As well as these two destroyer minesweepers. At the end of the day, they do have some AA capabilities, so it gives them a little bit of cover. But yes, we have far, far too many uh, supplies over here. We've sent too many, so we're going to bring some back. Now, there are forces in the Philippines which we're going to have to deal with, but they're nowhere near the uh, power that we've dealt with before, well, earlier. So that's, uh, that's not too bad. Right then, so over here we are unloading, which is fine. Okay. Mm, situation giant is rather interesting. Uh, we do have an enemy over here, but what we are going to do is bombard them, just so I can uh, gain a measure of their strength. We do have a very powerful Chinese core over here, actually, which is rather... Well, it's definitely quite powerful. So what we're going to do is going to go for bombardment, and then once we're done over here, I'll use aircraft to bombard them over the living hell out of them. In fairness, I could potentially even use, like, a naval bombardment. Hmm. Okay. It's looking good so far. It's looking good so far. Uh, other than that, there's not a huge amount to be done as of this moment in time. Uh, so we've addressed the economic situation, which is going to it's gonna hurt. It's going to definitely hurt. It's going to be uh, some lost production there, which isn't great. We can't really afford that at all. 
uh, other than that, though, we do have plans in place, so that's fine. We'll be able to rescue the situation. Now, let's take a look down here at Palmyra. We don't see anything over here as of this moment in time. Uh, we do have some things on the way to the American coastline, which is good. Obviously, some of them are going to need to uh, recover. I'm not sure if they've done it already, but if you have a... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what we need to do is... Uh, it's a good thing that you brought that up. Uh, now, let's see. I need to actually load the tender, which it wasn't loaded. So now, it might actually be able to serve in its role. So if I actually try to put it in its own task force, it might do that. I can't remember if they have to uh, be without or... Well, in a task force or out of one. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll try to actually rearm these submarines and see if that's possible. Can't replenish as of this moment, but what we'll do is we'll look for further uh, submarine auxiliary craft. We'll have them out and about. Where are they? I remember seeing some of them around here. Unless I've uh, redeployed them elsewhere. Right, what we'll do then is we'll go over to the active ships. Uh, you have to have it anchored, okay? So I'm going to assume uh, it just needs to be within the actual port itself. Oh, to be fair, let's just quickly check. It might not actually be docked, and that might be causing issues. Hmm. May just take some time. But it's definitely in there then. Uh, this is a game I could never figure out. Honestly, it's one of those where you just have to give it time. You just have to have a go at it and it will click in time. It, it's, it seems overly complex on the surface, but honestly, once you get into the nitty gritty and you actually start... It's like once things start to make sense, it just it all flows from there really. It's quite nice like that. Uh, this division is over here. I think what we are going to do then is... Right, I need to leave behind a small garrison, but that's fine. I can ignore that for the time being. Uh, what I will do then, potentially, is advance over here. Your tender is there. Right, okay, yeah. I suspect it would be something like that then. So it would be next turn when it will be able to do so, which is fine. Uh, at least then the submarines will be able to uh, be replenished. But what I will do is look for other uh, submarine uh, tenders. I do have one. Uh, do have one over here at track, which is good. Yeah, I spent all day loading supplies. Right. Okay. We'll go here. Form new task force. Support. There we go. I believe that was the one that was damaged. Actually, I did originally have two out there. That's fine. So, load... Uh, is your tender loaded? Hmm. You should be okay to move. We'll have you sent to midway. Okay, superb. Let's look for some more. Uh, Cameron Bay. Uh, we do have another one over here. Oh, we have one here too. That's an AD, actually. Uh, destroy a tender, which is interesting. Uh, right, Cameron Bay. And then these are in these task forces over here. Which task force would this be, then? Do 
two live cruises though. Ah, I see you already. It's a task force I set up. Uh, fair enough, that makes sense. Ride 176. Okay, we're going to send you to Midway. So at least we'll have um, at least three yogs. Well, some green auxiliaries over there, which is good. I do have that one over here at uh, was it Kamran Bay, uh, which I will send out there. I was already in a. Was it Kamran Bay or was it Saigon? Hello there, Christoph. How are you doing, my friend? Let's have a quick look. Mm, Rio de Janeiro. Right, it's in Saigon. That's why. Got it wrong. There you are. Bomb new task force. Support. They do have really good endurance, which is fantastic. Okay. And off to midway you go. That's a very dangerous route to take. That's much better. Of course we can refuel you on the way, but at least that's a much safer route than going through American-held waters. At least allied waters. Uh, avoiding most of Singapore's... Well, most of the Philippines is a good idea too. Okay, this isn't too bad. So we'll advance the turn here and go from there. Okay, let's see where we go from here then. still have, uh, well, the anti-submarine task force. I haven't seen any results from that as of yet. I think it is definitely going to be one where, I don't know, we might consider actually um, changing the pilots out and actually putting good anti-submarine warfare pilots on board, well, on those squadrons. Uh, then I suppose it would make the most sense. I think we'll do that in the following turn then. So no patrols really, bad weather made that difficult. Right, Mitchells. I just hope they don't target the airfield, but I imagine they will do. Ride thunderstorms. That's not great for anybody really, but at least it's helping me at the moment. Hmm. They're brave to target the actual torpedo boats. I mean, they're very difficult to hit. Right, theoretically, uh, well, theoretically, we should have plenty of targets around here. Here we go again. Right, 61 casualties. Uh, yes, yeah, so we need to look at the numbers here. So 11... Yes, yeah, so 11,100 of, well, enemy troops. Uh, we do have about 2,000, uh, maybe about 2,000 frontline troops over there, 3,000 maybe. Uh, not a great amount, so I think what we'll do is like probably 
whittle them down. Then send in some forces to mop them. Okay, one destroyed by a plaque is rather uh, irritating. Okay, so they do have some hurricanes, but they should have been escorted. Uh, votes. Oh, well, one of them goes down by Flak. Two by Flak. Yeah, seems like Flak is very strong. Uh, seven destroyed by Flak, my lord, okay. Uh, so, yes, we do not want to be ground bombing Singapore. So, we'll have to cancel that. Five destroyed by Flak, three destroyed by Flak. Yeah, Singapore is very well defended. Ah. It's such a tough nut to crack. I really wish I'd had better luck on it. I should have concentrated on it first and foremost. Even tried potentially amphibious landings to be fair nearby just to get the troops there. I mean, we will eventually crack it. Uh, there's no other way about it. Okay. Raver's detected by radar. What do we find in the harbour? Not a bad target, I suppose. At the end of the day, it is worth something. Okay, so let's see how the red goes. Uh, so we lose a zero. Uh, we lose three vials, okay. Okay, right, so we have the Edward uh, looking back. Is that over Singapore? Yeah. I mean, in fairness, it's uh, lost as that can be replaced. I mean, Singapore was always going to be heavily defended by the air. Well, from the air. Uh, so we'll cancel those raids, and at least that's a lesson learned. Okay, so sunk over here. Okay, about four ships in there. Let's see, do we find anything else nearby? It would be nice if you could like uh, designate uh, enemy bases or just locations as do not attack. That'd be very nice, like exclude them basically from the targets. Uh, it might very well be that we have to um, just mass our forces and then just try to have enough to defeat them. We'll see. Hmm. Okay, Lucy Zeros are still active over here, which is very nice to see. 4 Hudson's down. That's good. Now, this should be mightily interesting. There's plenty of ships in the area now. And at least this is going to be a way to take out the enemy's, like, actual fighter cover too. As they're obviously going to be drawn out to fight. So this is good. Not a way to lose here, really. Which is quite nice. Uh, seems like the zeros have definitely before been uh, much, well, much better due to the actual uh, increase in, well, mobility, which is quite nice. Should have been doing this from the start, but now, well, we got on uh, well enough, didn't we? But yes, if we take out the enemy's air cover in this area, establish air supremacy, uh, in fairness, I might even use Kitabutai to actually travel down here to actually find where the Mitchells are being launched from and just absolutely wreck them. That might be a good idea. I could even use the uh, uh, zeros to sweep the base, destroy what is there, really. Hello there, Luke. How are you doing, my friend? Okay, what do we find in the actual... I assume we're attacking the actual port. Oh, we have a tanker here. That's definitely a worth our prize. The tanker Marula. Yeah, she's not going to survive this. Another tanker? Fenris. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, no carrier Sankos of yet. We finally assembled Kiri Wutai. Um, every carrier, well, barring the two escort carriers, and uh, another uh, tank here, yeah, very nice. And Hiru, which is um, in Hong Kong now, undergoing repairs. She's going to be out uh, for about a month. Well, we're getting some very nice targets over here. <laughs> Interesting to see there's no warships in the area. 
Okay, so we'll click done here. We'll see what the actual results are at the end. Uh, so we do lose a zero. They lose five buffaloes, though. Uh, heavily damaged, but you know what? They're not going to make it out of here. I mean, they're not going to be going anywhere. They didn't go down, but they're not going anywhere. Okay, at least I can actually send um, transport from the air then. Well, supplies from the air. Ooh, that was not lucky. Okay, the Rio de Janeiro has been hit. Um, hopefully she should survive. I mean, we can take her into port quite easily. I just hope that she actually does survive. Yeah, ship crews perform damage control. Uh, she did take a big hit, so she does need to actually go back home pretty damn quickly. At least she's close to Kyoto or Tokyo, or even Yokohama. Uh, Yokohama has a really good repair uh, facility, so we could send over. Okay, it looks like the Chinese forces at uh, Shengtan are really not able to continue to fight. Uh, we might have all the forces in place now to bring them to an end. I do believe I'll send in a full division. Let's see, are they on their way? Uh, B division. They might have arrived, actually. But it might be the 40th division. Either way, they are taking some heavy casualties. They will eventually crack. Wow, okay, so a war area, so a headquarters and a construction regiment. Uh, yes, I believe that we could potentially just shock attack here, and it actually work. <laughs> uh, this is a Chinese call that we're having to deal with. But if I take this base over here, then travel this way, uh, we could really start to take uh, this part of China, uh, which is what we really don't have a huge amount of control over. Right, the bombardment at Singapore. This has been a disaster at Singapore. Uh, if all our troops had been able to travel over at once, it uh, would have been slightly better. It could have been even worse, to be fair, but uh, I don't think it would have been as bad. Uh, but that was my fault due to not actually moving all my forces at once. I could have gone back, I suppose, but, you know, at the end of the day, we do have to learn from these mistakes, and it does make things more interesting, really. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so 41 Japanese casualties, 46 allied. We're able to actually withstand them now, which is good. They, they can't even consider a deliberate attack. I just need to get enough forces in place to actually make it possible. Okay, uh, Nagasaki has expanded to a size 8 fort, which is fantastic, actually. What's up there, Oswind? How you do, my friend? <laughs> you finally able to catch a stream? Awesome, dude. Yeah, I stream at kind of random times. I do kind of try to keep it evening-ish. Um, there is no one perfect time. And it's not often I do have the afternoons where I can actually stream, so... Yeah. Trying to find what works best for everybody. Okay, new squadron has arrived at Johoburu, was it? Let's take a look. Hmm. Seems uh, one of the planes have arrived. That's good, then. At least we are, are able to uh, replace some of these losses, it seems. I shall put them on combat air patrol, then. Is that due to the level of supply? Shouldn't be. How strange. Okay. Hmm. I think what we'll do here then is we'll move Kitabutai up. So I'm going to move them um, around about here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to try and draw out the enemy. I want to draw out the... Well, I mean, if we can intercept the Mitchells over here, that'd be great. I mean, this uh, force over here has definitely suffered. I don't know how strong these guys are, but I could always use uh, Kibutai to bring them to an end. 
Uh, the difficulty is um, Singapore is very well defended. Bloody too well defended, to be honest. We do have reinforcements on their way, so that's good at least. Alright, let's take a look at these fighters then. Well, these pilots then, sorry. Right, we'll replace everybody here. Ah, uh, right, now this is it. Hmm. And Dragon. Okay. It may be due to the fact of... Well, what we might want to do then is actually just have them train. Though in fairness, they are naval attack, so I guess we'll just keep them on naval attack. Maybe the bombers that we have, well, the dive bombers that we have, the actual ability to do something with. Okay, I guess we'll just have to leave it as is. I suppose it'll eventually become better. Hmm. Actually, let's see here. Uh, try 27 then. Resize to 27 planes. And conditions are met. That's still a very large quadrant. Right, change them to 18 in December 44. Jesus. Not anytime soon then, really, is it? <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, so expand these task forces, and uh, then I can always choose from them, can't I? I do have a bunch of other ships here that are actually pretty useful, like destroyers. Uh, so we could do with setting them up in patrol. Well, yes, uh, definitely patrols. Right, uh, the Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, she needs to head back extremely quickly. She's taken heavy, heavy damage. Uh, ten fires aboard, major flood and engine damage, system damage. She's definitely not having a good time. And the thing is, that's actually quite an important um, asset. It's not one I can easily replace either, which is irritating. Right, let's see if I can rearm my submarine. Oh, she's been rearmed, actually. Fantastic. Well, that's good news, then. At least we can send them out. Uh, issues, obviously, fuel. So we do need to still wait on fuel to arrive. Uh, but that's good. At least we can actually have them rearmed now properly. Superb. Okay. Indeed. Singapore's a tricky situation. Hmm. Alright, we'll have them uh, made ready then. Uh, 
Hold on, maybe you should jump over there. At least there they can uh, make themselves very welcome. Okay. You are carrying some fuel, which is rather interesting. You don't need to be unloading uh, these supplies, of course. Uh, hmm. Okay, that's interesting. We'll bear that in mind for the future. We do have an AMC over here. Right, destroying minesweepers. I'm tempted to send in some sweepers, well, minesweepers, but you know what, I, I really don't want to be sending in like, destroying minesweepers, they're worth quite a lot. Uh, so I think what we'll have to do then is continue to use Kitabutai. I will have to try to cover our forces, I believe. It may just be a purely land-based victory. But we'll cancel these missions over here, so they suffered quite badly. Here we go, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that, just had to go out into the door. Okay, so we're going to send them to general train. No, um, hmm. I suppose, uh, this is it, isn't it? What do we actually use them for? I suppose ground attack. We'll just have to keep it at that, really. Uh, change their range down, set them all to do this. It's a difficult situation that we're there with. Yeah, thank you for the action. <laughs> Oh, we did take some heavy losses. Uh, I'm just not entirely sure how I'm going to be crack, uh, going to be able to crack Singapore. I mean, in uh, well, historically, the actual commander of Singapore did surrender, and we're not going to be lucky to have that. There's heavy industry, light industry there. They don't produce resources, thankfully, so we might might be able to starve them out. That may be the only way. We'll have to see. I could send great numbers of aircraft, but the thing is I don't want to lose great numbers of aircraft either. So frankly, it's not worth it. It may be very well that we have to send um, minesweepers in so we can try to bombard them, but we'll see. Uh, how will the carriers again? The hero is repairing in now. Uh, well, the hero, hero is repairing over here at Hong Kong. See, I do have minesweepers, but I don't really want to use them like that. Uh, so yes, uh, Hiro is over here repairing. She was hit by a torpedo. Uh, about 20 days left, so she's doing fine. She's doing fine. And uh, then we have uh, Hoshio and Taiyo who are out here. They're meant, well, the go uh, Goebutai group. Their role here is really to act as anti-submarine warfare. It's an experiment more than anything, but we'll see how we go. I could even use them in patrols, really. But there's not a huge amount of aircraft that they can carry. Uh, production doesn't work when enemies are in the same hex. Well, that's good to know, then. Uh, their accuracy has only been 30%. Uh, they've been bombed too high. Potentially so. And let's see here. Go to the lilies. What altitude did I set them to? 30%. Hmm. Ah, uh, bombing accuracy. Let's take a look at the actual pilot. 
I mean, they're pretty effective. It might be that we have to bomb from a lower altitude. So, that's something to bear in mind, then. What would you guys reckon, then? About uh, 1,000, 2,000 feet? I'd imagine that, for, well, 3,000 might have been effective, but I suppose it depends on the actual bombers and the actual armament that they have. Okay. Uh, but that's good to know that production doesn't work when the enemy's in the hex. That's fantastic. At least we can actually starve them out in the end. Uh, same as over here, then. That's uh, pretty impactful. Okay, super. That does give me new hope. Right. 824 to salt, uh, salt power. Uh, some weeks of bombardment and resting troops to Singapore. It's, uh, indeed. Okay. I don't think they were higher earlier. They shouldn't have been higher earlier. It might be something to look back on in the stream, but I'm sure I had them set to 3,000 feet. Right, do we go with a deliberate attack up here? Our forces have low disruption and fatigue. So it might be worthwhile doing. Combat. Okay. Make sure he's in the right mode. Okay, 824 assault value. We have 13,740 infantry here, 17,869 support, 449 vehicles, 360 guns. Uh, we just need to continue to beat down on the Chinese forces here. Deliberate attacks are going to be costly, but it will see the job done. Now, do I go for the shock attack? I don't think I need to, but I'll... I'm going to play it safe. I could... I could, really, but I'm going to play it safe and instead go with a deliberate attack. At least if we take the base over here, we actually do have an important asset uh, from which we can launch further campaigns. I mean, there's still a large amount of Chinese forces over there that are continuously trying to uh, break down the gates here. Uh, we've been lucky in the fact that we've managed to hold them at bay for a, a good, well, significant period. Let's see, what is the fortification like over here? Mm, right, level 3 fortification. So, that's good. We're going to keep expanding the fortifications to... The issue is I'm not gaining anything from this while it's uh, obviously being besieged. That's fine. I suppose it's not a hugely important base. Right, 10,000 troops are there. Uh, we do have multiple divisions over here at Shanghai. So we do need to use them, actually. Okay. We don't have many ships here. What I could do then is, let's see. Transport. Okay, we'll have Chokai, Sendai. Plenty of escorts, basically. Seems we've got everything here. Might as well throw... Oh, well, here we are. Now, that's incredibly valuable. Get these large ships in here. Uh, we do need to carry a great amount of troops. I am going to put more destroyers into this, to be fair. This is far too valuable, especially the landing ship. So it is going to be extremely well defended. Uh, so that's 45 ships. I mean, that is... I mean, they have a heavy cruiser, light cruiser, a great amount of uh, destroyers. Uh, some very low endurance ones, but this is fine. Uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to go and pick up some troops. Right, we need to change the actual commands, but we'll have them uh, set up on their way. So, let's see change the actual headquarters over here, I do believe. Okay. Uh, how is the heavy industry looking after turn? Uh, well, what we'll have to do then is we'll take a quick look here. Close that. Strange. Right, Tokyo is actually producing 
Uh, though we do need to increase the amount of resources there, which is fine. They're going to receive them. Uh, so what we can do then is, if I quickly save it here. So I'll just grab this name. So what I do to just keep track. I mean, the numbers don't even really match. But that's fine. I should have had it done by episodes. But then again, it's hard to uh, keep it up to date when you don't know how long a uh, stream's going to be or an episode's going to be. As you might make multiple saves. Uh, but what we'll do then is we'll grab this new save file, put it into the tracker, and then at least we'll have some up-to-date information, which will be good for us. Okay, should be done. Right, 34. Oops, wrong one. Right, save. Now, let's see. I'll have to relaunch this. Run the tracker. I wish this was like an automatic process. It'd be really, really nice if it, if it was. That'd be amazing. Okay. In reality, I should be doing this each turn. It would be a good way to see. Okay, 108 loaded. Uh, is there a future plan to secure the oil in some Borneo? Uh, yeah, we do have troops nearby. We're just really... I mean, we do have Kitabuta in the area. I think what we're going to do then, as we can see that Singapore is too heavily defended um, by AA. So I think what we'll do then is we'll look for the source of the Mitchells, annihilate their airfield, annihilate the Mitchell threat, allow our zeros to recover, uh, basically establish complete and utter air dominance in the region, and as well as naval dominance. So what that'll allow us to do then is start to actually move transports into the area, or cargo ships into the area, and we can start to drop off more forces, engineers, basically um, overwhelm them. Right, let's see. Add a fuel, but that's fine. Uh, we're aware of that. Uh, Nagasaki has its spender, which is great. Fresno. Uh, so these are... Is that New Zealand? Adelaide. I'm not entirely sure where Adelaide is. It might be an American one. I'm not entirely sure. It might even be an Australian one. I mean, Fresno is definitely uh, American, and that's in... Well, India. Mirage. Hmm. Okay, EC is supposedly completed repairs. Should repair completed over here. Uh, E-roll. Okay. Let's take a look at the industry. Yeah, so it's back up and running. That's good to see. Hmm. We definitely need more resources. Oh, Adelaide is uh, New Zealand. That's pretty awesome. I mean, it's a good thing we are sending resources across to Japan. Right, there we go, you're ready to go. I mean, we can send hundreds of thousands of tons of resources in waves, which is good news. Good, you're ready to go. Not a moment too soon, either. Unloading. And unloading. You're nearly done, though. Right, you're finished. Ah, oh, so in Australia. Okay.
you can go back. I need to pick some up from Kijo over here as well, to be fair. I think what I'll have to do is I will definitely, definitely have to get off my lazy ass and actually um, set up the convoy system again properly. Ideally, try to automate it. Could be... I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Be good if I could. Or at least make it more usable. Like, have them actually set out to their correct placements and uh, not have them mixed or randomized. Uh, the issue was, uh, basically, we did have it all set out correctly. But then we forgot to turn retirement off. So they all retire to random ports and it confused the entire system. Okay. They're gonna move down here. Just fine. Okay. Now. Run loading over here. If anything, what I'll probably do then is have the naval guard loaded back up uh, once we drop off the engineers. And then we'll land them over this way. And then we'll start to move troops via ship. Right, there and that way. And if anything, there's a good amount of transport here. So I could even pick up uh, troops using these guys and actually have them carried over. Which is actually quite effective. Um... Okay, they're moving as well. That's good news. Uh, fuel will be on its way. It's just going to take some time to reach it. Okay. Two zeros here. Be nice to combine the squadron. Ah, oh, there we go, we have. Ah, well, there we go, that's awesome. I'm glad that we actually were able to do that. And that's a good amount of zeros, I'm, I'm not even kidding. No resize remaining. Right, what we'll do then is I could actually have them um, transferred over this way, and then at least they're going to run air supremacy over this way. Wait, did they actually transfer, or did that say something else? No, it did, didn't it? Hmm. Then again. Actually, a couple in maintenance. So what we'll do then is we'll keep them there for the time being. And then what we could always do, we could actually have them carried by AVs or even escort carriers uh, once again. Right. They're a decent amount of fuel here. I don't want to even, like, fuel up with these guys. At the end of the day, that is, like, far uh, too little fuel to take from the island. Well, there's not enough fuel on the island to really, uh, for them to be able to spare it, if you understand me. Right, our forces are marching. They'll arrive in time then, just taking them a little bit longer than I would have hoped for. Okay, do we have our reinforcements on here? Move, right, the issue is the river. Ah, it's going to be really bad, it's going to launch a direct uh, assault when they do arrive, so I might as well put them in combat mode. Irritatingly taking a long time. They should have actually just come down here and then gone that way. I suppose this is actually a quicker way. It's difficult with the terrain here. Okay, where are our, where are our tro uh, troops? Hmm. Right, stop loading. Right, now settle. Right. <laughs> I'd be mad to directly unload troops there at Singapore. I'd be mad. Then, um... Hmm. In all honesty, it might be more worthwhile to actually, um, I mean, we'll land, we'll send them to Johoburu again for the time being. But what I'm thinking is it might be more prudent and, uh, 
Yeah, to be fair, I think it would be. I think what we'll do is we'll get around this area, then I think we'll make a choice. But it might be worthwhile just to start landing troops around here rather than waiting. Uh, but what we'll do then is obviously uh, pick up further divisions, further artillery and reinforcements. We're really going to be diverting a lot of troops from China to this area down this way now. Uh, that is going to be happening in the future. So that's the plan. Okay. So we cancel the um, missions this way. That's good. Waiting for our forces to arrive over here at Batan. A few troops over that way, but that's fine. We'll be able to quickly deal with them. Okay, so we'll end the turn. Uh, Tokyo is producing again, which is fantastic. That heavy industry isn't going to waste. And the amount of resources will increase as uh, she's obviously now been set to a stockpile. Very, very good. Very, very good. I mean, the escorts, well, the sub chasers in that area really started to gang up on those submarines. It just takes one of them to get lucky. Really does just take one of them to get lucky. And that submarine is then just going to be absolutely annihilated. It's a good thing that we have our escort carriers so heavily defended. Hello, what do we have here then? Uh, is that Craven? Yeah, Craven. I-10 has been off the coast of Australia, well, off the coast of Sydney for a long time. Right, Gilmer. Plenty of targets nearby. casualties 206 casualties that is a lot that's 300 right there yeah 350 <laughs> fucking hell 450 jesus just round about shy of 500 casualties yeah, about 500 casualties uh, from a single round of bombing. Uh, I want to watch this. Do I need to watch a tutorial before I start episode 1, or do you explain how it works? I kind of go with it. Kind of just, like, explain as I go. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm no, like, uh, expert. It's like I know how to play, uh, but I'm no true expert. It's like, um, over time, I will get better, same as you guys will as well. So, it's more of a learning experience together. So, no, you don't really need to watch a tutorial beforehand. It's one of those where, if you just watch over time, things will make more more sense really as you go on okay that's okay hmm saw you at uh, Singapore didn't we oh no was it Singapore I thought it was either way she could go down here okay what do we score uh, we do lose an additional zero they lose an additional buffalo right only one ship here Okay. Another zero down, another buffalo down. City of Exeter is sunk. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I'll see you in a good while, then, Emil. Man, that's going to take you some time, but uh, have fun. <laughs> Forgive the mistakes I make, we learn from them.
as a formidable amount of zeros. Okay, no zero destroyed, but we destroy two hurricanes. Uh, heavy fires, we don't actually hit West Planter. Okay, further forces are moving up. It's a little bit of attack at Xiang Dan. Xiang Dan. Oh, we do have a formidable amount of forces there. Okay, we'll skip forward to see how it goes. Okay, those are very, very favourable numbers. Um, 62 guns lost. That's actually formidable. That is a lot of guns. I mean, they do have a lot of guns, but I mean, to lose that many is huge. So I think uh, at the end of the day, we keep going. I mean, we lost two vehicles here, but we'll keep the attack so. Reinforcements are on their way anyway. These horses over here have been a pain in my sides. Right, deliberate attack over here. I mean, we could have gone for a shock attack, but you know what? I'm still... I'm still happy that went for deliberate. I would not have wanted to lose thousands of troops. So we captured the city with little effort. Uh, Banzai. There we go. Superb. 669 casualties inflicted. And we captured the city. Rather easily, to be fair. Okay, I think we'll just continue with bombardments then indefinitely until uh, Singapore eventually cracks. Hmm. Two Chinese cores over here. I do have reinforcements nearby. Okay, it looks like the uh, Rio de Janeiro actually did make it back. I uh, should probably tell her to go to Yokohama, but at least she's... I mean, she was closer to Tokyo, to be fair. Uh, but it's good uh, repair, repair shipyards there, regardless. I see. Hmm. Just have her go to. Uh... Uh, do you have repair? Yeah, you do have repair shipyard. Let's go into that then. Lovely, lovely. What do we have here then? Destroyer. Yeah, carry vessel raid is very risky, of course. Troll boats. Though in fairness, they really don't have anything uh, particularly dangerous here. There's a lot of ships over this way. I mean, we do have uh, Nagata, Mutsu, Fuso, Yamashiro, Isi, Hayuga, and just, <laughs> there's, a, there's a formidable amount of uh, surface ships here. Not to mention Kongo, Haruna, Hiei, Hiei, Kirishima are already present within the carriers, and their destroyers, and heavy cruisers. So there's a formidable amount of artillery here already present. So we'll continue uh, heading further south. I'm really looking towards the airfields. I need to find out uh, how Java is. I need to figure out where the Mitchells are coming from and just and just put an end to those raids. So that'll give my zeros time to recover. Right. They've been dispatched. Oh no, these are kind of resources. Right, now they've been dispatched. So that's another division on its way. Hopefully they make it. Okay, forces that are going. 63,000 men, my lord. It might be just a case of just actually starving them out because there's far too many troops there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Okay. Right, you'll arrive uh, shortly, carrying supplies, which is good, very good. Okay, seems the engineers have arrived. So what we'll do then is we'll cancel that and load in. Uh, what I'm going to do is load the um, naval guard. Hmm. I suppose we have to finish unloading. So I guess we'll finish unloading then. It'd be nice to load them back up. Oh well. I'd move these forces, but I'd take them far too long to move that. Be quicker by uh, seaborne transport, which we can arrange. So what do we capture here then? Not huge amounts of anything, really. Decent airfield though. Some resources. Yeah, looks like the Chinese in disarray over here. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, I could do with a reconnaissance from being run. I know it's a seaplane, but at the end of the day, I, I just would like information on that. Okay, continue the deliberate attacks. The armor does take a lot of losses. I really don't know how effective armor is. It seems it seems like a bit of a glass cannon, really. Right. Have you sent a key, Joe? Pick up resources over that way. Actually, I uh, just noticed the cruise of mine layers. I did send some out to Hong Kong, didn't I? Yes, there we go. Right. Uh, to spend that task force, we select Hong Kong itself. That's fine. No activity that we can discern. Obviously there will be activity, we just can't see it. Right, so forces are on the move. In fairness, what I could do here. Right, we need to transfer you out then, that's what I'm sure. I thought I already did that, to be fair. Okay. What we'll do then, actually, is we'll take these forces from Camp Bay. There's no garrison requirement here, which is great. That base force can actually stay here. Then uh, we'll have them move over to Saigon. Uh, we'll take them from Saigon then and transport them over to Malaya or into the Dutch East Indies and really start to get the ball rolling over that way. I do have forces in Japan itself that I could send to... Plenty of naval guard here. 
I just need to get them out of there. Not to mention the Guards, Mixed Brigade, and the 61st Infantry Group. Okay. Only 18,000 troops there. We are running low on supplies here, though. Uh, let's see. Let's transport aircraft. Transfer to Hankow. Okay, that allow you to actually run supplies over to here. There we go. At least then we'll actually have some supplies flowing in here. Uh, this temporary division. Not a huge amount of power there. I'm going to carry them on, at least, and that covers that gap. I do have the 13th division here. I mean, they've been battered for a long time. Armoured. Uh, extra, quite a lot of power here. What's up there, tank? How you doing, my dude? Okay, we'll send the 63rd. Sorry, 61st. To reinforce this position over here. Load resources. Okay, so. So it's going to take us some time, but we are moving forces to where they need to be. So we'll execute the turn. Okay, here we go. So we are looking for the source of the B-25 Mitchells now. I'm going to imagine probably a bit of Tavia. Or Tavia, however you guys would pronounce it. Okay. Mm, they did get a hit on me, that's not good. At least you can be sent to midway for repairs. I'm really glad that we do have midway. It really does change the situation over that side. We've made good progress in China. Malay has been very delayed. I could have taken Hong Kong sooner had I, like, not absolutely devastated my troops by continuous, like, attacks. I should have just given them time to rest. Uh, but we'll, we'll learn from those mistakes in future campaigns. I think the campaign after this one would be definitely, like, a modded game. I might even run a modded game in, like, my own personal time, uh, just to get used to it, see what that's like. At least I'm going to be able to go in with my head held high. 106 casualties. We are really going to be able to drive this out soon enough. I mean, once they are defeated, then, yeah, there's nothing left for them. Uh, Singapore is still reluctantly, well, stubbornly in British hands. Uh, we did take out the 18th British Division. It's just the fact of their fortifications and, well, it's it's always difficult to take on something. Right, we lost the zero on the ground there. It's always difficult. Oh, bloody hell, that's a lot. Freeze it. Oh, Jesus. 
we need to destroy the Mitchells. Yeah, it's uh, difficult when you're approaching them. I mean, if it had not been a island, it's like we technically had to cross over. So it was considered a assault by well, a shock attack. Well, five destroyed that. We're doing very well over this way. I suppose they're doing well to actually uh, be able to continue to send Hudsons. Uh, have they been reinforced? Singapore has not. Uh, they did have troops already there, but then there was the survivors from Johabiru. Okay, so more hawks. Uh, Warhawk down. We do sink the ship, which is quite nice. So yeah, we're going to have uh, Kiributai run airfield attacks now. Need to find out where these Mitchells are coming from, because it's, uh, it's just an untenable situation at the moment. Completely untenable. Our uh, divisions will be sent, and we will definitely transfer more forces. I mean, we are trying to provoke a response in fairness with Kiribu Tai. Trying to flush anything out in the area. Two destroyed. It's not good to lose pilots. Okay, we do lose another zero. We lost a few zeros, but look at that. Seven Warhawks down. That's pretty good. Uh, armored, well... Armed merchant vessel hit heavily and destroyed a few uh, allied forces on the ground too. Right, there's some decent numbers over here. I mean, these are valuable targets to be hitting. They don't seem like it, but at the end of the day, each ship that we eliminate is one less that the allies have to use. And it makes it a hell of a lot more difficult for them. Can you imagine this is actually a troop transport? Like the Henley. Taking the Henley out would be actually quite nice. I don't imagine we'll hit, but if we do, that'd be great. I mean, a torpedo into her would just destroy her. So we'll hope for the best. All I need is one hit. Right? No. Destroyers are remarkably hard to hit. Okay, that was quite a large one there. So, 1-0 down. They lose a B-339D. Uh, another hurricane, a B-339-23. Hurricanes in Java. <laughs> right, she got hit. Henley survived there, of course. Let's speed down. We finally arrived at Bataan. Kind of a deliberate attack over here. Let's see what the results are. Right, no fortifications now. That's good. That means we'll just inflict higher casualties. Another 600 lost, but another 1,000 odd destroyed. And another 29 guns gone.
Hmm. See, this is it. We do have greater amounts of guns. We do have greater amount of vehicles. Obviously, this is just their attack. We do have more numbers. I just... We need to crack them. But they should starve to death eventually. Well, ideally, it's going to take a long time, but eventually they will. Okay, so what we're going to do now then is going to take a look down uh, around the Javan Sea. Okay. Yeah, bloody Singapore. Hmm, that's rather interesting. Supposedly light cruisers there? Light cruisers supposedly there? Uh, probably something else. Right. Now, where would they be flying from? I'm going to assume that. So what we will do then is we will set up a raid. We do need to be careful of our numbers, by the way. Moment accuracy 59. Um, do we lower the altitude? Yeah. Well, they dive down anyway. So we're going to hit the airfield there. Uh, we'll have the capes perform the same. I want everybody to function together. At least then our numbers are maximized. There we go. Bowman accuracy is obviously much lower due to the fact they the more used to dealing with torpedoes than actual uh, attacks of that nature. I uh, right, we do have these zeros already. That's quite nice actually. At least they are using extended. Uh, well, their extended range, so that's good. At least then they can actually help to cover this area. That's good. So, I mean, we are starting to wreck our way through here. We've sank a number of ships and heavily damaged many more. So that's good. Right. Uh, I need to start loading some supplies. Though, let's see. Even loaded. Okay. So what we'll do then is... Load troops. Verify load. Yep, that's set load. Load them up. Uh, you're going to load some supplies. Destroyer. KVs, those are rather interesting. Hmm. I mean, that's a huge amount of assault, uh, well, assault value. Uh, what we'll do then is we'll set them all to combat and we'll set them all to bombardment. Need to figure out what we're dealing with. Uh, I can send forces from here to deal with these forces over here. There's not many of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, we will be looking at invasion of Hawaii quite far into the future. Uh, we need to deal with the Dutch East Indies well before that, but uh, an invasion of Hawaii is definitely on the card. I mean, we do have Midway under our control, so what I will do is uh, build Midway up, and we are doing so. I mean, the airfield is really heavily damaged, so it's going to take a long time, but we'll do so. I think I just need to get things sent out this way, like engineers and etc. But we'll have that sorted. If else, I could arrange that now. Yeah, we have them aboard here. Loading complete. Ah, uh, so I'll have them sent over to Midway. Hmm, can't take that.
Okay. They can't take anything with them. Now, you know, in fairness, it might be worthwhile to actually send cruiser mine layers to, um, well, uh, to bloody Midway. So if we actually mine that area, that does make Midway just significantly harder to take. I mean, at the end of the day, even if they do uh, force us from the air and from the seas, it's like at the end of the day, when they do come into land, they're running a gone into mines. And that is pretty devastating. So in fairness, I think I will look for some uh, mine layers in the area. There's a lot of ships here. Just need the fuel, don't we? Mm, right, dock and unload that fuel. Okay. Load fuel. Yeah, definitely need fuel here. Um, I think I've refueled over, is refueled and ready to go now. Mine lay in. So that still leaves me some over here, which is fine. Dumb the patrol boat. Uh, actually, I might want. That's got some huge range. Right, leave that one behind. Take that one with the extended range. Alright. Need to rearm, don't I? Take a look. Right, you have mines. Right, we'll send them over. Yeah, so if we send them over to Midway, start to establish a uh, actual minefield there, that'd be very nice. Okay, they're passing Wake Island. So, I mean, we are increasing the activity around uh, Midway quite heavily. Uh, do we send a oiler with them? Or something carrying fuel? In fairness, we'll send Kotori and uh, Kashima. Uh, they carry a decent amount of fuel and that's going to allow them to actually head out. Right, they're ready to go. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. I mean, there's fuel, uh, fuel on the way to the island. I think the issue is, I mean, we have supplies here. It's the fuel I need. Once we have some aviation support over here, which is going to come from Japan. I'll be able to get that airfield up and running in, well, in a big way, which is going to make a huge difference. So I think we'll run one more turn, uh, then we'll bring the session to a close. Okay, you're on your way. That should be good. Uh, let's see. What I'm going to do then is uh, everything that's in port. Uh, take this and uh, send it up the coast. I don't know why I, I said everything that's in okay in port, not uh, in task force. 
Right, so Matt's bombardment is... Uh, let's see. Usually 16,000 feet. Uh, we'll go for about 17. There we go. Now, yes, we can actually bombard over there, which is fantastic. Uh, that should help out our forces quite a lot, really. Continue with these acts. Ooh, that disruption of fatigue is awful. Really, really bad. Mm, okay. Uh, they're going to arrive next turn. Well, it might be worthwhile just to have them ready then, to be fair. I might send in these extra troops around here, to be fair. I'm proving a little bit harder than I would hope for. Right, we'll dispatch you to Shanghai. Okay. Send them all over here. Set all to follow. That's good. Uh, we'll move out, send these forces, and they can then deal with the base at Eba. That'd be great. Okay, and uh, we'll progress. Well, we'll make this the last turn. As I do have a few things to do today. Uh, my family's finally returned from holiday. <laughs> so I have to make sure everything in the house is ready. Plus, I'm hungry as hell. I'll tell you, it's one a little bit slower. I do want to see if there's any activity from uh, Goi Budai. I believe I Coast Watcher when something actually pops up, because he's not seen anything. Alright, we do need a few of midway ASAP, as obviously the number of submarines around Pearl Harbor is dropping. They must be, alright. <laughs> Where are they pulling these torpedoes from, man? I'm sure they must have fired hundreds off by this point. <laughs> I think we definitely have to be really proactive in terms of defensive uh, capabilities, especially regarding Midway. If I can fortify Midway now, it's going to make it incredibly difficult for the Americans to take it. 
It's either we are eventually launch an assault on Pearl Harbor and take her, or it's going to be inevitable that Midway will fall. It will happen eventually, unless we do take Midway. Uh, so take uh, Pearl Harbor. That's the only way to secure that area, is by just having them unable to access it. Or at least make it extremely difficult. Doesn't seem like they're running their missions. And right, there we go, here's the air raid. If any of the uh, aircraft on Kitabuta, I could do it a bit of a rest uh, and have them able to recover that damage, give the pilot some time to rest too. Okay. One more hulk destroyed. We do hit the airbase. Uh, the runway's hit. Right. I was hoping to see something on the ground, but I'm not seeing that. That's rather interesting. These light cruisers, supposedly. Supposedly light cruisers. We'll see. Ah, oh, they're hitting the airfield over here, too. I do notice that there's a submarine right next to us, so we do need to be careful. Right, they're hitting Batavia. Uh, probably not the wisest move, but I don't know why they're hitting separate areas considering my target to them here. So that's going to cost us. Yeah, that cost us quite badly. I don't know why they're doing that. That was rather poor. Why are they doing that? What are they doing? Are you absolute bloody fools? You absolute bloody fools. Why have you done that? I did target them, did I? I'm sure I targeted them. But we're definitely going to have to withdraw the Kitabutai to have those uh, aircraft repair and replace those losses. That's bloody annoying. I'm sure I targeted them at that one airfield, not five of them. Mm. Okay, so Mitchell's are uh, trying to get to us now. Only 18 respond, which is not a good rate amount. So we'll see how they do. Dude, uh, critical Hitler. Yeah, the Allies are no, by no means done in this area, but in terms of air power. They do fight. Well, they do have a fair amount. Okay, at least we got uh, zeros that are able to be scrambled then. That's good news. Since we're dealing with these uh, B339s, 23s, first of all. Okay, we'll skip this, see how effective it is. A destroyer, really? Wow. Not a wise target there, my friend. Okay, so from that they lose three aircraft, four aircraft. Inflict no damage. Yeah, they're not going to make it, are they? Unescorted. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we will have to pull back uh, Kibutai. It's rather irritating that I told them to target one airfield and they target five. So we've lost a lot of aircraft unnecessar unnecessarily so. Okay, two destroyed. Bloody Wildebeest. Oh, I hate these things. Two of them down, thankfully. Ride Mitchells. At least we can take some Mitchells out, ideally. Yes, four of them destroyed. That's good news. Another three. Okay, I mean, if we can take out some Mitchells, then at least it's not too terrible. One down. So they did target Sol Ru, but they didn't actually hit, thankfully. 
So we'll pull back with Kidabutai definitely then. Yeah, we'll pull back, and then we'll just have the uh, carrier guru. Uh, they're really just to escort, well, just to enable us to actually send reinforcements into the area. Okay, enemy uh, submarine. Hmm. Seems like we're actually doing some damage to this submarine. Said it was just taking a water then, which is rather interesting. Ah, fire on bridge. Hmm. Cut to the ball there, my lord. Have you been really quiet? Poor submarine, man. Submarine taking on some water. I mean, this is the most damage we've actually ever done. This is actually really quite good. I mean, join this. She got hit four times. She's going to be rather heavily damaged then, ideally. Ooh, she's in for some more pain now. And the thing is, she's just, like, sailed into an armada. So an additional two hits there. That was nice. Right, we did lose a ship there. Deliberate attack. Oh, wow, we actually captured Xiang Dan. Banzai! Tano Haika Banzai! Bloody hell. Look at all these forces surrendering. Jesus. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, that is actually fantastic. I didn't imagine we'd succeed, but look at that. So, 417 casualties, 29,592 casualties. Completely wiped out. And now this definitely is going to free up a huge amount of forces in the area. Shangtan has finally fallen, which actually gives us access to more resources and light industry. Uh, but more importantly, we can reform all these divisions and we can actually start to spread out. I think we'll start to look at these other bases in the area. Uh, but Changsha, well, this is it. This area has been pivotal. So with its full and complete capture, then... Uh, that's definitely going to change the situation in central China, dramatically so. That's, that's freed up a huge amount of forces. Right, middle of bay defences, static bay defences, or subic bay defences. There's a lot of forces here. I think we'll just have to try and starve them out. So, um, there's no point really trying to batter at them. I mean, look at that. This, uh, const uh, constabulary. Ah, constabulary divisions are quite powerful. A marine regiment. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just bombard them. Allow them to starve. Fuck me, I took a lot of uh, hits there. Fucking hell. Hmm, I like deliberate attack a baton. Well, I mean, good luck to them. I, I assume that we should be able to repulse this, considering we have two divisions here. Uh, yeah, I think we should be okay. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> wow, somehow they do manage to inflict uh, high casualties on me. Bloody. I swear to god, I'm looking forward to the day that Singapore and just... We're, we're finished with the Philippines, I just finished in that re regard. I look forward to that day.
I'm happy about the follow Shang Tan, though. We'll reorganize those forces in the next stream, and then we can have them sent, uh, well, elsewhere, really, dispatched, but that's fantastic. It's just been a bit of a mixed bag of a turn. I'm disappointed about the loss of aircraft from Kiributai. They should not have targeted multiple airfields like that. Perhaps it might have been me who uh, didn't select the target correctly, but I'm pretty damn sure I did, so... We'll see. We can really cover those losses anyway. I mean, we produce, like, what, five... Uh, 5.3 zeros a day. So, you know what? I mean, we can definitely replenish that. No issues, really. It's just the pile of side worry about. Hmm, another landing ship over there. That's really quite handy. Uh, we do need to use them. Okay, so it's inspect on... Okay. Yeah, we've lost a lot of aircraft there. We need to pull back. Uh, how many fighters do we still have? 97 ready, 17 not. Okay. We're still combat effective. It's just I'm not happy about all the losses. So we'll pull back. At least we did take down some Mitchells. And we have caused some damage to the airfields. Mm. We'll put them on the... Uh, so they're not, but... Uh, we'll put them on a... I suppose a naval attack. But I think I'll limit the range down to about 5 hexes. Same for the tor well, torpedo bombers. I don't want to be attacking far flung targets. There we go. Uh, so we'll pull back. And that'll be good. We have destroyed a good number of ships. We have uh, inflicted some good losses. That does intrigue me about the supposed light cruisers. I would be tempted to target it, but uh, we'll see what happens. Right. Resources are converging on the Marshall Islands. Fuel's on its way, which is great news. Right. And with the final fall of Shang Tan and the uh, thousands of men who surrendered there, this is brilliant. Uh, and if we take a look at the situation now, we just take these bases to the rear. I think this is going to be the focus. I think what we might do is actually send a division down this way to Kukong. As we can actually travel strategically, which is fantastic. And then, actually, it might be that we take take this here. If these rails were connected, that'd be just incredible. That would be beautiful, to be fair. I wish there was a way to actually build rails. Brilliant. Uh, but, oh well. So, we've taken the base over here to Chushan. Uh, Chushan? Chian. So, uh, we'll send a division to take uh, Kishien. Then, perhaps, send more forces this way to deal with these guys. But... I was to say, the Chinese are now starting to definitely lack. That'd be worth so much to capture. Hmm. I think uh, if we take Nanyang, uh, Luoyang, uh, Chi Qian, Ge Wilin, uh, Liu Zhao, Tu Yun, and then obviously Nanning, then uh, obviously these bases here, I think then we'd really have effectively won the war in China. At least as, uh, I mean, they can still obviously fight. I mean, Chuking is obviously very difficult to get to. It may be that one day we head for it, but it's it's going to be extremely difficult to get there. Um, but the campaign goes well, and we've gained a lot of resources in China, which is great. We just continue to extract them, which is good news. It's just, uh, we need the campaign in the Philippines to come to a conclusion, which is getting there. Uh, Clark Airfield had fallen. It's just Bataan. Bataan's very dangerous. Um, Singapore's a pain in my ass, but we have forces on the way. We have a division on its way to... Jeez. There. They're heading to Shanghai to pick up additional troops. Ah, there's a troops over there. So that division's on its way. It's going to take some time, but they'll arrive. Okay. So, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you all again soon. And have a great day or evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. 
And if you have enjoyed this, do please consider supporting myself and the channel. It really does make a massive difference. You can do this through PayPal or Patreon, whichever method works for you. So until next time, thank you and goodbye.